Today I'm going to share how to make these frosted mason jars that almost look vintage and then you can use them to put pictures in them if you would like. The secret is the frosted glass paint from Folk Art as well as some marbling medium. So I'm using the Martha Stewart marbling medium and then mason jars of various sizes. So these jars are actually smooth sided so they don't have any embellishments on the side. So that's important if you want to put a picture inside especially. So we're going to mix the marbling medium with the frosted glass paint. So I'm mixing twice as much marbling medium to the amount of paint. So usually the ratio on marbling medium is one to one, but I'm actually mixing about twice as much marbling medium as I am the paint. So you'll see me just put a few drops of the paint inside quite a bit of marbling medium. This makes it even clearer marbling medium consistency when I go to marble these jars. Now I find that the combination of three colors of frosted glass paint really makes the jars with that vintage look. So I have like a purple, an aqua, and a blue, and you can see the exact colors and the exact type of paint on the countrysheetcottage.net. I will drop a link in the description for this video. So you just wanna mix this well in some kind of container that you're gonna throw away later. And then you wanna turn your mason jars upside down. Again, I'm using some plastic cups and just putting the mason jars on those and then just dripping on the, the paint that has been mixed with the marbling medium. Now, you can't really go wrong here. Just mix different colors of this paint and sort of marble it together. You can pour it down the sides. I don't like to waste too much paint, so I like to kind of drip it on and have a little bit more control with the drip, but you can absolutely just pour it on if you would like using the cup. And then you can just pick the jars up and you can move them around to sort of start getting the paint to flowing around your jar. You can also, while you have it picked up, you can drip, dribble on more paint around the outside. But you just wanna get the jar where it's fully covered with a variety of these colors of paint and where it's all kind of marbling together and mixing together. The frosted glass paint will do the rest of the work, but will turn out in that frosty consistency and that marbling medium will just kind of turn clear. So you have that frosty consistency and it's a marbled effect with these three colors. It really gives it that vintage look without any extra work. So once I have the entire jar covered, so I just keep working the jar and keep getting it covered. And once I have the entire thing covered, I can actually go back and just use my star stick to cover up any gaps. So you might see some little gaps in the paint. And if you just use your star stick to kind of cover those up, you'll have complete 100% coverage of your jar. And then you just turn it over upside down on those plastic cups and allow it to dry overnight. You will also notice that I have cardboard covering my work surface because this project is extremely messy. So once these dry overnight, they're actually done. You can just remove them from your glass. You might have to clean up the top a little bit with like an X-Acto knife or something where that dried paint is. Otherwise, they're ready to go. You can drop in a picture or just add them to your home's decor and you will have some gorgeous mason jars that give you a farmhouse feel to any room.